Hey guys, we are here at the Andrews Ball Trail in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The trail's 3.5 miles round trip with an elevation gain of 899 feet. The trailhead starts at the Clingman's Dome uh, parking lot and there's supposed to be some really awesome views. So let's go check it out. So Andrews Ball Trail is on the Forney Ridge Trail and that trail used to be characterized by just being completely rugged. It's got, used to have all these boulders, which you can tell they're still, the boulders are still here. There's boulders, jagged rocks, and it was just really strenuous, really difficult. But in 2008, the Friends of the Smokies made some improvements to the trail to make it easier to get out here to Andrews Bald. The beginning of this trail is characterized by a spruce fir forest and as you can tell behind me many of the fir trees are dead or dying and that's due to the balsam woolly adelgid. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it but that's the way I think it's pronounced. It's a small insect that infests and kills fir trees and since firs don't have a natural defense to the insect since its introduction in the early 1900s, it's killed nearly 90% of fir trees in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, which is pretty sad because uh, I love fir trees. So a bald is a high elevation grassy meadow. So Andrew's bald is actually the highest bald in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And without frequent service by the National Park Service, it would actually be reclaimed by the forest. And that's the same with Gregory's Bald. Um, so that's another interesting little tidbit about this trail. So in 1928, there was a shipment of trees to the United States from Europe and it brought over the Dutch elm disease. And throughout that time until about the 70s or 80s, it wiped out nearly 75% of the United States elm tree population. In 1949, the USDA published their yearbook of agriculture and they advocated heavily for planting only male trees because female trees produce seed pods and fruit that drop to the ground and they considered that litter because it attracted insects and small animals. And so they began cultivating only male trees. So in the 70s and 80s, when the elm tree population had been wiped out and cities needed new trees to plant because that's what they had planted along their city streets because they considered them stately and beautiful, they replaced them with only male trees. And what do male trees produce? Pollen. So that is what, how the government has led to an increase in allergies for Americans. It's increased like significantly over the past couple of decades because of the introduction of only male trees. So we need to start planting more female trees because that's what collects the pollen and helps us breathe better so we don't have to breathe in all that pollen.
relax. I wish I would have brought a tent. You don't even need an air mattress. This grass is so like poofy. You like a tent and just the ground would be fine. The next time we come here, I'm definitely bringing that big Agnes tent we bought. I'd love to look up and just see the night sky, like with no lights. You'd be able to see like everything. It'll be amazing. Oh man, I didn't even think of that. Like just how amazing like, the sunset and the constellations and everything would be. Yeah, it would be crazy. I was just sitting here just laying here thinking about it. I'm like, man, I don't even want to go hike back. I would to stay here. Mm -hmm. We can build our house here. It's just so <laughs> quiet and peaceful up here. Yes. It makes you not want to go back to regular life and just kind of sell all your belongings and be a mountain man and just <laughs> live up here. You're already looking like a mountain man with your hair. Oh, am I? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> that's, uh, that's hiker trash hair. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so that was Andrew's Bald. The trail was absolutely beautiful from start to finish. It's probably one of like the most beautiful trails we've been on in a little bit. Um, and just this, the bald area, the Andrew's Bald part is amazing. I haven't been to something like this before. I mean, we've been to like rock outcroppings, but to be like a grassy meadow on top and have this beautiful view of the mountains behind you is just amazing. Like. It's so peaceful and so quiet. I could stay up here all day, but we really enjoyed this hike. If y'all like this hike, we've got a lot of other great hikes that we've done in the Smokies um, in our Great Smoky Mountains National Park playlist that we'll pin to the end of this video. Thank y'all for joining us on this hike today. We look forward to seeing you on our next adventure.